Welcome to Fit for Life. I'm back and today we're going to do strength training for the upper body. And we're going to talk a little bit about what you need to keep your muscles in good shape. It's not just strength training. We also need what? Protein. Are you getting enough protein? And you don't find protein just in meat, right? We find it in nuts, uh, eggs, uh, lentils, beans, things like that. So um, just keep that in mind. All right, now we're going to talk about a word called sarcopenia. It means a wasting of the muscles with aging. We can do something about that. We don't have to just get older and older and weaker and weaker. And that's why I'm here. And that's why we're talking about strength training. So sarcopenia is a gradual loss of muscle mass and muscle wasting. They get smaller. Um, and this affects about 15% of seniors over 65 and 50% of people over 80. This is a natural process. That's why, again, we do strength training. So keep that in mind. There are two main factors that contribute to sarcopenia, and they are low activity and low protein. I know I'm, I'm kind of oversimplifying, but we don't, have to, we don't have too much time to talk about all these things in depth. So I suggest you Google them, look them up, uh, talk to your doctor about it if you're interested. Um, your muscles atrophy, they become smaller and weaker with aging if you don't do strength training. And the research has been done on this. This, is, this is, isn't just um, someone's idea. It's really, it's true. Uh, the bottom line, I think, for all of this is losing your independence. So that's why we really have to do it. And we're going to do strength training with the upper body today, but we're going to do a little warm up first. Also, uh, as I said, talk to your doctor about it or a registered dietitian. You want the RD acronyms after the name. I would talk to the doctor first. If, you, if you're new to exercise or you want to know a little bit about muscles, okay? So grab your water. Thoughts for the day first. I think they're important. Love this book. Age doesn't matter unless you're a cheese. Keep it in mind. And this says, everyone has a gift for something, even if it's the gift of being a good friend. Isn't that great? Makes me feel pretty good. And that's the, uh, the singer, Marian Anderson. I'm sure you know her. And the second one is, and you might be surprised at who said this, he who is of a calm and happy nature will hardly feel the pressure of aging well. But to him who is opposite, the opposite of calm, youth and age are equally a burden. So keep that in mind. Do all you can to keep a positive attitude. So let's get ready. Make sure you have room to move back and forth. You've got your chair with arms, hopefully. You need a real strong, sturdy chair too, all right? And make sure you have weights and bands ready all the time. We use them with most of our classes. And we're gonna turn this on and get going. So remember to stand up without holding on. Sit back down again and try it again. And here we go. I'm gonna come back here. I think what I'll do is pull this chair back again. Remind me to put it back, okay? All right, feet apart, nice and strong, good. And just bend those knees. What are we stretching here? We're stretching the inside of the leg a little bit, strengthening these quadriceps. Doesn't that feel good? Bring your arms up as you do this. Easy stuff. Just getting you moving and stretched out for your strength training. Good. Now you're gonna reach across. Cross. And cross. A little faster now. Good. And reach. Really reach. Not this. And reach again. Up. Wonderful. Good. Now let's put the hands on the shoulders. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. We're going to stretch that waist a little bit. Stretching your midriff, your shoulders, your upper back. Good. Doesn't that feel good to get that body moving? Back and forth. Great. Feels good. Kind of wakes you up a little bit. 
depends on where you're living. If, if it's morning, this is a good time to do it. Good. All right, just stand up. Reach and reach again. And bend your knees and reach up. In time with the music. One more. Good, now the other side. So reach up, straighten those legs. When you come down and you bend those legs, you're getting a little stretch in your calf muscle. Great, wonderful, good. Again, feet open. I want you to push your shoulder across. We're gonna do strength training for the upper body today. So that's why we're concentrating on the upper body for our stretches, good. Now bend your knees, just push down, good. Push down. Lots of bending the knees today. If your knees are bothering you, just do a little, a little bend, not a big one. Now let's put the hands up here. So reach up as you go down. Up, up, good, up. And five, six, seven, eight. Keep going, let's do, let's do 16. This is 10. 11 and 12 and 13, 14, 15 and 16. All right, feet apart again. Let's just drop forward. Let's stretch the lower back, the upper body a little bit. Just falling forward, keep your head up if you have to, right? Good, wonderful. We're gonna come back up, arms out, cross and touch your knee. Feeling? Do you feel that stretch on the inside of your leg, your waist, your upper body, your midriff? Stretching those arms a little bit. Good. Over. Two more. And over. Great. Last one. Now hands right up here on your shoulders and circle. I just naturally bend my knees when, when the arms come down a little bit. So let's circle. Great. I think I'm waking up. My mind is clearing a little bit. Big circles though. Great. And five, and six, and seven. Wonderful. This is a good wide ballet second position, isn't it? You're gonna bend this knee. Look down, make sure that knee is over the foot, not inside or out. Hand right down here and reach up and really reach. Make sure your weight is on the front part of the foot a little bit so you don't lose your balance. Good. Come back up. This hand on the knee. Bend your knee, look down. Good. Reach up and over. Really reach that arm. I hope you can do it. Great. Wonderful. Reach, reach. All right. Arms out. And just do a little twist here. I heard a click. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Keep going, great. Over. Doesn't that feel good? Great. Over. 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 How are you feeling? We're just about done. All right. Feet together. Lift the arms way up. Way up now. Bend your knees. Lift those arms to the back and keep watching me. Keep your head up all the way up and down and back. Try it again. All the way up. Stay here and reach just the way we started, right? And then the other side. Perfect. All right, grab some water, grab your weights. Let's do our strength training. I love that music. Music makes us feel like moving. So keep your music on during the day. If you're stressed, find some good meditation or yoga music, or how about Tai Chi? You can do Tai Chi too for stretching and strengthening. All right, I'm gonna grab my weights now. As I said, we're gonna do uh, the upper body today, but we were standing up, so we have had a little strengthening for the lower body also. And these, these are our weights. If you want, 
you can rest your arms right on the arms of the chair now. Let's just drop that chin down, stretch the back of the neck a little bit, good. Now you're gonna bring your head up. Don't try to get your head on your back, that's not gonna work and just doing it is kind of a strain, all right? Now you're gonna look straight ahead, look at me. Hello. Good, and you're gonna to turn to the other side. Great. Just a little stretch for the neck because when we exercise, we sometimes have tension in those areas. Let's start with a bicep curl, but this time we're gonna do it a little bit differently. You're coming forward in the chair. Let your arms go straight down. So this is gonna be a longer excursion. The arms are gonna take a little trip. So let's breathe out as we lift. And you can lift pretty fast, but remember to count at least four on the way down. That's where you build the strength. Not so much in that first movement, but one, two. So you're controlling the weight. So you're strengthening, tightening, and toning those muscles. So you're gonna breathe out. Is this three? I hope so. And slowly down. You can do six seconds if you want, doesn't matter. Uh, but you, you're not doing this kind of a thing. Yes, you might gain a little strength, but it's much more effective to do it this way, okay? Taking your time on that second movement or the coming back movement. Let's try it again. This is for your biceps. Yes, other muscles are involved, but the main muscle group is the biceps. Breathing out again. I'm gonna say this is six, even if it isn't. I say that a lot, huh? Let's try it again. We're gonna say seven and slowly down. Now, if you want, you can do 10, but today we're gonna to do eight. My weights are five pounds. I do have heavier weights, but we have a lot to do today, so I'm gonna take it easy a little bit. Let's put those weights right down here. Good, oh. Pull your shoulders down, and then just push that shoulder forward. Just the shoulder, not your whole body. Push that shoulder forward. Forward, good. Just to stretch a little bit, good. Forward again, forward again. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? As long as you don't have a shoulder problem. Can you go back a little bit with the shoulder? You might have to move that arm back a little bit. And back, and four, good. And five, and six, and seven. And bring it back. Let's do a couple, a couple fast, kind of fast. All right, the second movement is going to be for what? the triceps. So stay forward in your chair. Don't, don't stay all the way back like this. You're gonna come forward. So slide forward, sitting up nice and straight. So your weights are vertical now. You're gonna bring those elbows back as far as you can. All right, and here. So you're gonna breathe out as you, and then slowly forward, controlling. Now you're tightening your abdomen right now, whether you know it or not. So this is good. It's a good toner, strengthener. All of strength training is really, most of it. Breathing out again, and slowly back. Try it again, and back, and slowly forward. You can do it the opposite way too, yes. And back, I'm gonna say five, slowly forward. And back, slowly forward. Let's try it again, and back. Let's do another one. Slowly, a little faster this time. Back, and one, two, and three, and four. We're gonna put the weights down. Now normally we do what? We do two sets. So if you're doing this on your own, try two sets. If you're just starting out with strength, with strength training, one set is enough to start. Just keep that in mind, all right? So all I want you to do is a little bit of this time just pushing that shoulder forward as far as you can. And you can turn your head just to get a little more stretch. Great. So that was for the triceps, the back of the upper arm, right? Yes, good. All right. Uh, I want to try something that I don't have on, on my list of things to do today. And I call this the paddle wheel. And this engages almost all of the upper body muscles. So you're gonna lift the elbows off the chair this time and just do this kind of a movement. So we're not really counting. Well, I can, we can count the repetitions. 
and four, and five, great. Six, kind of different. I find this one kind of a challenge myself. I really do. So let's put those weights down just for a minute. Drop your chin because you've been tightening your neck too. Ah, feels so much better when we do this. It just releases some of that tension, stretches those muscles out. Again, looking up, looking straight. Look at me, hello. And turning as far back without turning your body now, just the head and you're tightening the abdomen, so just be conscious of that. So it's not, not just for the arms um, or the upper back or mid-back, it's also for your abdomen, which we probably need to tighten a little bit, and then we'll go back one more time. Uh, one thing we left out was what? The eardrop. Try that, stay there for a few seconds, and then we'll go to the other side. Now, if you're not doing these stretches at all, you're gonna feel it. There's so much we can do for ourselves, but we also can't be exercising 24 hours a day, can we? We do the best we can. I'd like to think you're all taking a walk. 10 minute walk, start with five minutes. Every day if you can, five days. Surgeon General recommends half an hour of moderate, moderate to, well, I don't wanna say extreme exercise. Moderate is good enough for us. Whatever you can do, some of us can do more than others, right? All right, we're gonna do something now for the chest. Um, I'm gonna come a little bit more forward on this one. What I'd like you to do is twist your body a little bit to the side. See this arm? Just kind of follow me. I'm, I'm your mirror on this one. You're gonna bring that elbow back up, good. And slowly down. We're gonna put one foot forward a little bit. So don't round over, keep your back straight as you come forward. So it's breathing out as you, and one, two, three, four. Try it again. You can feel that tightening back there. You can see my arm. You can see the muscles tighten. You can see some, some more definition. So breathing out as you go up. And one, two. Isn't this fun? We having fun? Try it again. I think I'm getting a crick in my neck. And if you are too, then just let your head drop to where it's comfortable or turn. Let's try another one. Breathing out, lift, get it right up there and then slowly, again, you're tightening, tightening that abdomen. So that's wonderful, great, good. And we'll come back and relax. Shoulders up and down a few times, that's all. Another little twist to the other side. One foot forward, good. All right, again, coming forward and breathe out as you lift to the back and slowly down. Feels good. And lift up to the back and slowly down. And don't you feel good that you're doing this for yourself today? So easy to watch TV. Some of us like to read. We have to take breaks. If you're reading a good book, it could be ours, right? Breathing out, just get up and run in place, walk in place, dance. Good, try it again. Get that elbow up there and slowly down. Sometimes this is done with a bench. You put your knee on the bench, you've seen this. Up and slowly down. How many did we do? Let's try another one. Just for good measure, right? And down, enough. That's enough of that, good. All right, one more time with the paddle wheel though. I wanna do it one more time, I really like this one. Keep going. We're just doing one set and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's put the weights down. I'm gonna put mine down right here on the floor. Put those weights down, we don't need those anymore. Shake your hands out. Let's do some circles. While we're doing these circles, and. Just, you know, relaxing and stretching those shoulders, not your shoulders, but your wrists and your hands. Now you've been holding on to the weights, so let's stretch those fingers out. So you're gonna do that. Try to flatten that hand as much as possible. Pull your fingers back. Ooh, how does that feel? Depends, depends on the arthritis, doesn't it? Drop the hand down, turn the arm this way, put one hand on top and very gently, and if this hurts, you don't do it, that's all. Very gently push down, good. 
just to stretch the wrist a little bit, your hands, your fingers. So we'll do the opposite side, pushing out with a flat hand, not coming forward, right? Just pushing, sitting up straight, shoulders down, pull those fingers back. This feels good on this side, very good. Wow, I like that. Flop it down, turn the arm this way, this hand on top and very gently push down. I don't know if you've ever done this before. Just, just ways to stretch the hands. Uh, again, with so much arthritis, it's good to move them now and then too, right? And take your thumbs in circle, if you can do that, and then go the other way, all right? Take each finger to the thumb, and there's, there's another little exercise that I've seen. It's, I don't know if it's silly or not, but it's like you're playing the piano. Do you feel like you're playing a piano? Maybe some of you do, but it's just something that I've seen before. So we're gonna clasp the hands together, turn the hands over so you're looking at the bottom of my hands, right? And you're gonna push out straight. Great stretch for the upper body, for the shoulders, wonderful, great. Um, a little bit for posture, and I think maybe that'll be it for today. Uh, we're just gonna sit back and relax after this. Posture, all right. I think we're going to do our letters today. So let's do the Y. Just do a Y. That's all. That's easy, isn't it? And then, oh, pull those arms back. Wow. See the difference? You're actually pulling those shoulder blades together because when the posture is poor, those shoulder blades kind of separate. And you don't want to stay in this position, right? So let's try it again. The Y. Push back. All right. We're just doing it for a few seconds here. Let's do the T. The T is just this, this and this, right? And you're gonna bring those arms back a little, opens up the chest, stretches it out again, brings the shoulder blades together. Doesn't that feel good? You can do a little bit of a, I'm not crazy about bouncing with, with exercise, but it makes it feel a little bit better too. Let's do the W. Oh, we love the W. Now you're a W. All right, I'm gonna just turn and look at you a little bit and then bring those arms back. Can you feel it? You can, you can feel it a little bit more, I think, on this one. Wonderful, all right. Bring your palms together and you're gonna turn just a little bit. All right, get into that W position and you're gonna breathe out as you, if you forget to breathe out, I wouldn't worry about it. Just try not to hold your breath, right? Good. So this is all for posture and the upper body, stretching out the shoulders, uh, the deltoids, cervical area, your upper back especially, so keep that in mind. Uh, I want to try something else for posture too. I'd like you to take this hand or this arm, put it behind you at your waist with the free hand. Can you grab that hand and sit nice and tall, put one foot in front of you, that might feel pretty good. All right, and just pull it Pull it across, very uh, you, and you know if it hurts, you're not going to do it. Some of you have problems with your shoulders, and you're not going to exacerbate them, right? Try the other side. This arm goes in back. Grab your hand with the free, the free arm, and just pull it across. What do you think? Feels pretty good. Probably didn't know you could even do this, right? Just thought of one more. Mm -mm. Let's get ready here. I think I'm going to sit back, hope you'll join me, a little bit of a turn, not much. This arm, flop it behind the back of the chair, if you can do it. You're going to feel it right here. People with rotator cuff problems might have to watch this one or not do it at all, right? You should know what you can do and, and not do. And instead of turning in the same direction, I'd like you to turn in the opposite direction. All right, you should feel it. So you're opening up the chest that comes very, very congested. Not congested, but just all caught up here like in a little ball. And you're, so you're going to sit up nice and straight and just turn in the opposite direction. You can do it this way, this way, whatever you want to do. All right, now the other side. So I'm going to turn just slightly, flop this over here. I just think it's so easy to do this. And you might want to sit here for a little while, right? And then you're going to turn back to not this direction, but the opposite direction. I could really feel that too. So you're turning your head at the same time, so you're getting almost um, a full upper body stretch here, all right? 
Well, that's, I think that's all we're going to do for today. But uh, now we need to just kind of um, cool down a little bit and relax, clear our minds from that constant chatter that we all do. If, if there's anyone out there that doesn't think during the day or be concerned about something, let me know. But I'm always saying, oh, I've got to do this next. I did that. This didn't work out. I've got to pick that up, go grocery shopping. Oh, I said I was going to vacuum today. You have to cool it every now and then, right? You have to force yourself to do this deep breathing. So do it with me, breathing up through the nose, expanding your abdomen on this one just a little. When you exhale through your mouth, you can tighten this area a little bit. Think of pulling it in or just, just tighten it if it's too uncomfortable. So just take this opportunity to make this area a little bit, a little bit smaller, all right? So let's try it again together, breathing up through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And what you're doing is you're letting all the air out of this. I hate to say or use the word balloon for that area, but I suppose it might be a little appropriate. Uh, again, when you're breathing up through the nose, expanding, it's like you're filling that balloon with air. And then hold for two seconds, breathe out through your mouth, and try to make that exhalation as long as possible. It should be longer than the inhale. And I mean it, if you try this, you do it slowly, you do it more than once, you will find that you might even feel a little relaxed on that first one. So keep that in mind. Take a yoga course, take Tai Chi. Tai Chi is that nice, slow, it's, it's, I call it meditation in motion. It's wonderful. Take a walk. Watch Fit for Life. But it's all good for you. Movement is really, really important. It's going to keep you younger. Keep that in mind, all right? All right, let's do one more breath now. Up through the nose. You can close your eyes if you want. And you're going to breathe out. Pull that abdomen in as you breathe out. You're going to sit back and relax. Put your forearms on the arms of the chair, palms up. Slide forward. Just let your legs come out naturally. Move those feet back and forth. And don't forget to tune in to my next show. I'll have something interesting for you. We're going to work on balance, which is so important to us seniors. So hopefully we'll see you the next time. And remember, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Thanks for watching. <laughs>